So Lyle, explain the significance of the position of Eric's uh, feet and hip flexors and legs and when he is standing and how it's evolved from now until when he first started. Well, when we first started, uh, when we tried this, I think we actually tried this on day one, and his heels wouldn't hit the floor. They wouldn't hit the step. So if anything, he would be in like a plantar flexed position for both feet. He would get up and it's like his feet would just kind of float and his toes would barely touch. Very similar to Kelsey's progress, but now Eric's hair is doing the same thing. His heels are coming down, which means the signals um, from his brain to throughout his whole body, even down to the bottom of his foot, is realizing that his heels down. That's going to say everything, go ahead and try to lock out a little bit better and be more sturdy while he's standing. The reason why it was harder before to, to stay sturdy and stay upright because if he's on his toes, the body's shifting weight forward, it's really hard to kind of peel everything back together without his heels being able to go down. You can see my heels are still up. So if he try to get upright with his toes down, that essentially would happen. With his heels down, that gives him a lot better at base of support. Mm -hmm. That way his hips and his pelvic girdle, every, every muscle around that area, and the back side of his legs, will be able to help activate while he's trying to uh, his posture his upper body. That's why he looks most upright now. So pretty much, to make it simple, heel touches the floor, signal of the brain says, okay, let's go ahead and try to stand up even more straight than if the heels were not touching. So. Eric, do you feel more sturdy or um, a better posture? And how have you been able to notice the results and feel the results uh, for, for this particular exercise? Well, I'm definitely noticing a lot more strength in the core. And being able to uh, hold myself more upright and get in an upright position. Uh, I'm also noticing with now that my heels are able to go down a little bit more, it's giving me a little bit more balance and a little bit more control okay. over my whole core. Uh, so definitely, I mean, a couple more times, I'd say I definitely have a whole lot better standing of being able to stand up tall again and straight. And Eric, how does it make you feel to, to be able to think, hey, I'm going to be able to stand up straight one day? Hey, like a million bucks. 